polymer manufacturing equipment, such as extruders and injection molding machines, are outfitted with various sensors, which allow the operators to monitor process variables, maintain safety, and avoid downtime in product output. For over 60 years, Dynisco has provided precision pressure measurement and control devices for all manner of plastic manufacturing equipment, which end users have come to rely on. In this demonstration, the technician will offer guidance through each step of the pressure sensor commissioning process, from taking the sensor out of the box, to wiring the sensor with the instrument, and then finally setting the parameter requirements for system operation. First, the technician removes the sensor from the box, and then examines the process connection and diaphragm for damage. In the unlikely situation where damage is discovered, Dynisco recommends that the customer document the damage and then return the sensor to Dynisco for evaluation. Note that all returns require authorization, so please contact your Dynisco customer service department for further assistance. Once the sensor has been checked for damage, the technician selects the proper cable assembly to use with the pressure sensor and instrument. In this case, the cable assembly selected has a length of 10 feet and includes a six-pin Bendix mating connector. There are six bare wires on the end of the cable which are colored to identify the corresponding pin and function. The standard connection pin out for a cable used with a pressure sensor that has a 0 to 33.3 millivolt output would be as follows. The red wire is connected to pin A and is signal positive. The black wire is connected to pin B and is signal negative. The white wire is connected to pin C and is excitation positive. The green wire is connected to pin D and is excitation negative. The blue wire is connected to pin E and is calibration wire 1. And the orange wire is connected to pin F and is calibration wire 2. Next, the selected indication device or controller is removed from the box and examined for damage. In the unlikely event damage is discovered, Dynisco recommends that the customer document the damage and then return the instrument to Dynisco for evaluation. Once cleared for use, the instrument can be wired for main power input on terminals 13 and 14, provided the instrument has been mounted in a safe enclosure and a qualified electrician is bringing power to the instrument per the documented requirements. Please review the operator's manual for further details. There is no reason to power up the instrument in this step. Power should be supplied after the sensor cable has been connected to the instrument and there is no operator exposure to the screw terminals. With the cable assembly in hand, the bare wires are terminated to the instrument based on the signal output of the pressure sensor. In this example, our pressure sensor has a 0 to 33.3 millivolt output and will utilize all six wires. The correct wiring termination is as follows. Red wire on terminal 2, black wire on terminal 3, white wire on terminal 4, green wire on terminal 5, blue wire on terminal 6, orange wire on terminal 7. Once the cable assembly has been secured to the screw terminals on the instrument, the technician will then connect the Bendex mating connector to the electronics of the pressure sensor. Fit the connector to the keyway to ensure proper pin alignment and then twist lock in place. With the sensor connected, it is now safe to supply power to the instrument and then enter the setup wizard function of the instrument. The technician now enters the appropriate parameter settings to match the pressure sensor output range, desired alarm settings, retransmission signal, and other attributes such as peak pressure detections and optional data logging. Dynisco recommends that the pressure sensor be brought up to process temperature with zero pressure applied for calibration with the process instrumentation. The technician enters the submenu to access the configuration screen and then enters the default unlock code of 10. Once in the configuration menu, the input configuration is selected to find strain gauge calibration. The instrument prompts the technician to test the high and low calibration points via the up and down arrow keys as demonstrated. Once the high and low points have been tested, the indication device will show calibration complete. With the sensor and instrument calibrated, the technician can then exit the configuration menu and then select operation mode. Dynisco recommends this step be repeated any time the sensor exhibits pressure readings that appear abnormal or if the sensor has been swapped out. Please visit our Knowledge Center at Dynisco.com 
for helpful information about calibrating our pressure sensors. Dynisco instrumentation and indicators are essential to many production environments, providing accurate information for use in process maintenance. Rely on Dynisco to help provide a window into your process. For more information, visit Dynisco.com.